Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at Trans West and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, right at 525, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a new trailer with full warranties, those are the two brands that we carry. But we also have a very large variety of used trailers that we take in on trade and we have some of the best used trailers out there. So if you're looking for something really nice on more of a budget, check out our used inventory and see what we've got. So right behind me, I've actually got a brand new Logan coach. It is one that we've ordered to be a little bit more compact, a little bit easier to maneuver around. This has been a really popular seller for us. We do it in our Cimarron and our Logan brand. And essentially what you have here is a 10 foot two short wall and you're a little over 24 and a half on the floor. So getting around with this trailer is gonna be a lot easier. A lot of people like taking this trailer up and in the mountains. It's a lot easier to get in and out of truck stops. So really, really great option. Now Logan does this in their select model and we did a sports package on it. So it's gonna look a little different than your standard selects. It's gonna have the spread axle, the black aluminum wheels, your graphics, um, your frameless windows. So it's just gonna look a little dressed up over a standard horse trailer. Let's go check it out. All right, so for those of you that aren't familiar with Logan's, they're a galvanized steel frame trailer with aluminum sheeting. Galvanized steel is not like black steel. We don't have the rust issues. They actually offer a lifetime limited warranty for the first owner against any structural corrosion. You're just not gonna have to deal with it. So, but it's a nice peace of mind for people that have never bought a galvanized steel trailer before. They go in and lighten it up with this aluminum sheeting. And the cool thing about this aluminum sheeting is we have lots of different options for colors. So this is that silver, it's kind of got some metallic in it. We do a lot of them in white. We can do black sheets. Um, we've got a really pretty uh, sand colored one. It's called a stone met that we do in a lot of our stock combos. So if you're looking to dress it up with a, maybe a different color than the standard white, this is a really good way to go. Most of their colors do not have an upcharge on them. So a lot of trailer companies, when you do a different color other than white, you're gonna pay an upcharge, you're gonna pay a premium on that. Logan has a lot of their sheet colors in their select model don't have an upcharge. So that's something to check into. Nice big bulldog coupler on here. Underneath this trailer, did a couple upgrades under here. Number one is these bigger propane bottles. Um, those, those smaller 20 pound propane bottles, they just go through so much quicker. These 30 pounds are something that we do on all of our Cimarron's and Logan's. It's not that much to upcharge it. And we find that the value you get out of it is, is worth the extra expense. So bigger propane bottles, you've got a battery disconnect right here. So if your trailer is parked, you're not using it, just go ahead and turn that off. It'll help preserve your battery. If you got left a manger light or something like that on, it's gonna shut power to the rest of the trailer. Electric over hydraulic jack. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier than hand cranking this trailer up and down. If you wanted to, that is an option you could peel off, but if we're carrying it in inventory, it's gonna have a hydraulic jack on it. And then you've got your two house batteries and trailer batteries up front, easy to access. Um, if you need to get to them. And then your spare tire is actually the same as the ones you have running on the ground. So a little green cap means that it is a nitrogen filled tire. These are those black aluminum wheels. I think they, they look really, really good on this particular trailer, especially with that sport package. Um, they're 16 inch wheels, they're 14 ply. So nice, good uh, wheels under, and tires underneath this trailer. Wheels and tires themselves come with its own warranty. So it's one year, no questions asked, two year roadside assistance, and five year against any manufacturer defects. I'm sure you guys have already noticed, but we've got this nice big electric awning out. This awning is equipped with exterior speakers. So if you're wanting to sit out here under the awning on a hot day during a show day, you can have some music playing. You don't have to bring a portable speaker. Just a nice little, nice little area to hang out. Um, it doesn't have a wind sensor on it, so 
if you're somewhere where, where you're worried about uh, wind, I would definitely roll it back in. Really a lot easier to operate than a manual awning. Um, just at the push of a button, it goes in and out. On this exterior here, you've got some matched um, exterior access panels here. It looks just a lot better having these black versus the standard white on this sports package. Extrusions kind of run all the way down the sides of this trailer. This is gonna be a lot more heavy duty than these 050 aluminum sheets above. So it's gonna withstand a lot more scratches and dents than you would up high. And then you'll notice that there's not a ton of rivets on these Logans. They actually use a 3M tape behind their aluminum sheets. So 3M allows the aluminum to flex because aluminum will actually expand and contract with the changes in temperature. So having that 3M tape, it's a lot stronger than a mechanical fastener. Um, it allows it to flex and it's a lot quieter too. Gives it that nice, clean, sleek appearance. I've got a nice little awning light right above this step here so that you can get in and out and see where you're going. Exterior outlet, um, so if you do need to plug something in, you've got the power right there. You don't have to keep your door open to run some power. And then we've got day-night shades on the window here. This does crank out, so those frameless windows, they don't slide, they crank out, which is really nice if it's raining because it'll kind of provide a nice little... Um, Nice little cover for, for the rain and you can still get some nice airflow moving through. Soft touch walls on these selects, which is really nice over just that paneling. Helps kind of deaden the sound, provides a little bit more insulation. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Logan's, they do actually do their own interior conversions. So they have kind of three different options. You've got your limiteds, your selects, and then you've got your full blown custom riots. So if you're looking to really change things around in here and not go with a standard plan, you want some upgrades that you don't see on these selects, we can always quote you out a trailer in a riot model and that'll give you a lot more flexibility for options for colors and uh, layouts as well as you know fireplaces, convection ovens, everything like that. So they do build a truly custom trailer but if you're looking for something a little more middle of the road, you like the layouts that they provide. We can always take a look at what they offer in a select, save a little bit, bit of money, but you still get some really cool floor plans. Up above here, you've got a lot of your monitor panels. So right here, you're gonna be able to see how full your holding tanks are, your fresh water, your battery condition. This is also where you would turn on your water pump. You've got your manuals, your, your buttons for your slide here, your buttons for your awning, and then this is to turn your water heater on and off. And this water heater does run off of the propane. And then this trailer in particular does not have an onboard generator, but we went in and pre-wired because that's sometimes one of the hardest things to do after the fact. So this trailer is pre-wired. We do have a generator platform on the roof there. And we've got like the transfer switch and all that. So if you did wanna go in and add one after the fact, you don't have to worry about rewiring your whole trailer. Big microwave oven here, good size, a lot of people that's end, what they end up cooking with when they travel down the road. Um, sink, two burner cooktop, just runs off your propane. And then you're going to have your hot water heater and your water tank underneath this step here. So the water heater is kind of tucked back and this trailer is currently winterized but they make it really easy to, they label all their valves so you can find out how to dewinerize it pretty simply. Lots of storage spaces up here. These are adjustable shelves on this unit and they do their best to throw a little bit of storage wherever they can. Up in the nose here, um, we've got a nice queen mattress. You've got a skylight over the window. You've got two kick-out windows. So this one over here is your emergency exit, and you can let some nice air go through here as well. We've got some shallow shelves up in the nose. Uh, it's, not, it's not really deep storage, so you've got a bigger um, closet in the bathroom for hanging a lot of other stuff. But 
it gives you some places to throw some knickknacks. And then this particular unit um, has a TV coming. It's got a little 24 inch. It'll all be on a swivel arm. And they've got this one pre-wired already, but it'll be on that back side of the cabinet there. So it's coming soon. As far as color options for your selects, we've got kind of three different packages that they offer. They've got a light stain, a medium stain, and a dark stain. This is the dark stain. You get a lot more grays, um, kind of this, this darker ebony cabinets. So we try and carry a variety of the different color options for these selects. And this is one that we've done particularly on this unit. If you wanted to build one from scratch and you wanted to stay in the select, you can pre-select which, which stain package and color package that you want to use. So we've done, we've done this one in a lighter stain before, this dark one, and then we've got some medium stains here on the, on the lot. Right back here, you've got your single leg table. So since this sofa is a jackknife sofa, and yet you still probably need somewhere to, um, you know, do some work or eat dinner, you've got the table back there, and then you've got the little post on the ground there to put that single leg in. More storage down low there. Um, these are nice big drawers. The thing I like about these trailers is they really do put storage wherever they can on these trailers. You've got a ducted AC unit and furnace down low. Easy to access, but still tucked away, looks really, really clean. And we've got a big 6.0 fridge here. It's not one of those little 3.0 combo units where you basically might as well just pack a cooler instead because it's easier to access. This has lots and lots of room you can pack for a while. And then you've got your bathroom here. couple things in here that might be of interest. We've got this nice deep vanity. And we've got a little vanity light. This is your, your stall lights here. So a lot of people, when they're using this size setup, they'll use that first stall as kind of a mudroom. Uh, if they're just hauling two horses, this might be a really great place for them to come in and out of the trailer. You can enter the bathroom without traipsing mud all the way through your living quarters. Under here you've got some more storage and then your big um, shower there and these are those deeper cabinets I was talking about. You do have a clothes route up high so if you wanted to you could take this top shelf all the way out and hang some nice shirts up there. You've got a skylight over the shower, just makes it a little less claustrophobic. Um, these trailers, this one is seven, six tall, eight foot wide, but those taller people kind of like having those skylights, makes them feel a little less, less uh, caught in there. And then up above, you've got a fan with a vent, kind of get everything dried out if you need to. And as we pass through here, going right into the horse area. So this first stall, We've done a full stud divider. Like I said, a lot of people don't necessarily have studs, but they want to use this first stall for additional storage. If you're not somebody that likes crawling up on the roof to the hay rack, this is a really great place to throw everything. Put your coolers, your buckets, all up in this first stall. Since we do have the escape door, you don't have a manger on that first stall. So we've hung a feed bag there. It still has a nice big drop down window, but that escape door is going to be really nice to to get in and out of. One of people's favorite features on these Logans is actually this floor system. So it's a whizproof floor with Sure Grip. Sure Grip is, is similar to like a Polylast. It's got this nice rubberized texture. It actually drains. So a lot of people will go in and put Polylast in their trailers and they'll have to drill a bunch of holes in their floor. Logan is one of the only companies that has actually design their trailer floors to drain. So they've got aluminum slats that run and they're angled out um, down the length of this trailer. And if a horse urinates in here, that urine is gonna work its way out to the slats and drain right out. So we're not having to worry about 
you're in sitting on the floor here on the aluminum floor. Another thing they do for that floor is they actually coat it in this vortex lining. So you'll see this on a lot of Logans. They'll do a vortex lining. It's similar to a bed lining and it's going to just really help protect that trailer. It's going to increase the longevity of everything um, and it keeps everything looking really nice. Got big bus windows on the hip side here. You've got a stall light for each horse and those have individual controls on them as well as um, exterior controls right on this rear post here that you can turn them all on or off. And then Logan does an aluminum sheeted roof um, all the way down the length of their trailer. We've got a partial telescoping divider here. One of the reasons they do a telescoping on this one is if you wanted to collapse your rear tack, you're able to do that and then telescope this in and snap it back to get it as flush towards the wall as possible. It is padded. And then if you were to collapse that tack, you've got basically a three tier saddle rack here that you can completely take out. Or sorry, you've got a five tier, but you can move these around to wherever you want. Um, but this completely comes out of the trailer if you wanted to collapse everything over. You can see you've got access to your mangers there. That's going to be really easy to pull things out of there if you need to. Maybe something that's just a little bit longer that doesn't fit through the manger doors as well. It just makes it a little bit easier to access everything. And then on the rear here, we've got these 50-50 doors. You get a little bit of a glimpse of that hay rack. That um, sheeted part right there is a good place for you to throw like a portable generator. It's a little generator platform. As we work our way around here, you've got your ladder for up to your up to your hay rack there. And we did a six foot sheeted hay rack on this one. That spread axle design is going to be really nice for pulling this trailer and helps kind of take some of the weight off the tongue of your trailer. They pull more similarly to a triple axle. We have a lot of people that really like how these spread axles pull. And then because we always need a lot of storage on these trailers, these mangers are not only a great place for you to throw some feet up, up top for your horses, it gives you all this additional storage down low. On eight foot wide trailers, you're almost always going to see these mangers on these slant loads. On this particular manger, we've got some lights. You've got bridle hooks running on that back wall there. So it's just really nice use of space there. People really love the drop down windows on these Logans. They all come with these, with these um, fly screens here. And you can take them off if you've got a horse that's a little bit naughty and just likes to play with them the whole time. This middle bar breaks down so that you can get it back into its groove there. And then this slide all the way up. How you take it down is you just pull this little bar here. Really easy to operate. You don't have to worry about getting all the way to the top there. Um, so people are really big fans of how that works. You've got your escape door here. Uh, your sewer connections are down low. So your black and gray tanks. Pretty similar to how everything else operates on these trailers. And then for your slide, it's an electric slide. And you guys saw on the inside, Logan does a really deep slide. So you get a lot of extra interior space. The one thing on these 10 foot short walls that you have to be aware of is they, when the slide is run in, um, you're either gonna have to go around through your first stall to access the bathroom, or you just need to run that slide just a touch out in order to get in and out. Right here, you have your access for your water. So you've got a spigot that's gonna run off the water pump. This is your pressurized for, for if you are somewhere where you have a city water connection. And then we've got a locked access to your water tank for if you're wanting to boondock or just have some water on board. So if you guys have any questions about this particular trailer, it is a 2022. Logan Coach Select, it's a 10 foot short wall, three horse living quarters. The stock number for this particular unit is 5N210264. 
I would love to answer any questions you guys might have about this one in particular or any of our other trailers that we have here on the lot. So thanks for taking the time to tune in with me today. My name is Callie Say. The best way to reach me is my phone number. That is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. So I hope everybody has a really great Friday. Thank you.